So uh, here I've got, we're going to now talk about setting up the uh, 360 camera. We've got a uh, Ricoh uh, Theta Z1 360 camera, and here I have a, a, a monopod. So I'm going to actually take this guy, um, and it's quite a short monopod, but it works very well with this, this selfie stick, which we put on top. Just gives us a very light, lightweight and portable thing. Just like with the DSLR, we're looking for a camera lens height that's about the height of the average customer, which is around about my height. So now we can see we've got a very lightweight um, configuration, and this is easy to move around. And more importantly, there's a much smaller footprint than the photograph, so we'll have less um, masking or re-editing work to do to hide the uh, tripod when we're processing the photographs. Um, so essentially, um, with this, it's a 360 camera, so it shoots the entire panorama all at once. Um, that can be a little bit tricky, um, because it basically means that when you're shooting, you have to go hide while you're taking the shot, otherwise you're going to be in the shot, and we don't want that to happen. Um, there are plugins, actually this is a Ricoh Theta Z1 that actually allows you to install plugins. It is a plugin that allows you to shoot one lens at a time, and then take the photograph from that. Worst case, we can just shoot two images, and that means we don't have to hide. So we shoot one this way, or we'll shoot one this way, and that means we don't have to go hide between photographs, and that turns out to be, in the end, much quicker than just going to hide each time we take a shot. Um, so uh, so that's pretty much it for that one. As you can see, it's a much lighter configuration and much cheaper. The end result is actually lower resolution, but for virtual tours, which are typically on screen or on a mobile device, uh, the quality is perfectly good. Um, this Theta Z1 is probably the best of the 360 cameras out there on the market at the moment. It has very good sensors, which means it has very good low light performance. You'll get images that are very clear and not at all brainy compared to some of the other cameras on the market. Okay, so uh, I've got my Theta camera. I've also got an iPad here, um, and you're running the Theta app on the iPad. Um, in order to set it up, you basically have to go into the Theta app and register the camera using the serial number on the camera with the uh, Theta app. Um, and then basically you can actually use your, your Theta app to control the camera. So as you can see, uh, we've got the output of the camera is now streaming uh, streaming down onto the uh, onto the uh, the iPad there, which allows me to quickly see and control the settings of the camera.